Hello and welcome to Exile Mixes. My name is Ayanon. For this episode, I'm going to be mixing drums again. It's been a while. I launched this channel around three years ago, mixing multi-track drums on this console, the Signature 22 MTK. Last time, I was so disappointed with my attempt at trying to mix a multi-track drum session on the iPad because I was too excited about Logic Pro being released on iPad. So I did that. If you have seen that video, it's around here. It failed. But now I'm gonna get back to mixing on the Mac. Here I have 12 tracks of drums, which a client sent to me for mixing. There are two mixes here. One that I did entirely in the box with the goal of emulating an analog console workflow. I used the Wave CLA Mix Hub and I got an amazing result. For the second mix, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna do an analog sum. On the in the box mix that I did, I retained all the processing, compression, EQ, everything because I used the CLA Mix Hub, which is an emulation of the SSL E channel, E console, I think. I sent out all the tracks. Here, just for the fun of it, I added a couple of effects on the snare. So this mix is not meant to be an apples to apples comparison to the original mix that I did in the box. I just wanted to share the process with you because it might give you an, another idea how to mix your drums. So for both of these sessions, my approach was to mix each track with a full channel strip that is in the box with a CLA mix hub. For the analog sum, I retained all the processing that I had done on the DAW before sending all individual drum tracks to channels 3 to 14 on the console. For each drum bus, I sent them to SEER channels 15, 16, that is for the kick, for the snare to 17, 18, for the tums, because I would have sent them to 19, 20. This is a stereo channel, so this would have been perfect for that, but Unfortunately, my channel 19 is effective. It's broken on this console, so I left it down. So I sent the thumbs to channels 21, 22, and the overheads as well in this channel. All faders are at Unity Gain, as well as the master. I just added a little bit of effect to the snare, which is on channel 17, 18. So halfway on there, I added a touch of gate for FX1, and I added a bit of gated reverb for FX2. Usually I have my effects at minus 15, but for this mix I made them at minus 10. I kept them at minus 10, so it's a bit more exaggerated.
And now here's the mastered version of the analog song. And for a comparison, here's the in the box mix, also mastered. I hope you have taken away something from this mixing process. I hope it has helped you in some way, or if you have something to add to it, please let me know in the comments below. Till next time, thank you for watching. Cheers.